Hey guys, what's up, what's up? Welcome to another chess puzzle. Just making sure I have the correct position. I believe I do. Alright, what the heck is going on here? So, it's black to move. Um, just looking for ideas in this position. I mean, I feel like it was a tactic, but so the question is whether this tactic is good. I'm going to demonstrate what I mean. There's a tactical shot here, and as always, pause your video, try to figure it out on your own. But basically, the idea is bishop takes d4. Bishop takes d4, knight to b3, threatening to win a piece. Um, now, if pawn takes, queen takes. So, white would be, black would win material there. And if, if rook takes, pawn takes, I, I don't understand this position. Like, it's supposed to be positional, but it looks tactical to me, so I'm, I'm just confused. Bishop takes d4, bishop takes knight to b3. I mean, I was thinking maybe this bishop's strong somehow, but this just looks winning. I don't, I don't understand what am I missing here. Let me make sure I have the position correct one more time. Looks correct to me. Um, all right, you know, excelling at positional chess, you gotta be a, uh, it's not a positional puzzle. So I gotta make sure there's not something I'm failing to consider here. It's hard to believe that this is not horrible for, for black, for white. Bishop takes d4, bishop takes d4, knight to b3. Let's look at all the candidate moves. So the pawn takes, queen takes b5. It looks really bad to me. I, I just having a hard time not thinking that position is horrible. <laughs> um, and if any rook takes, we take with the pawn. He takes with the pawn. Let's. I'm going to demonstrate one line. Like the only line that even looks like remotely not losing. Honestly, rook c2 might be good. But, I mean, this can't be like play a. You know, like. Sure, there's some compensation. It's just though our rook is still pretty strong on, on the second rank. I, I just I just find it hard to believe that this isn't good for black. But you know, at least white's not like completely having to resign. So let's just double check. You know what? I, I'm just gonna go with the move. I I don't know, man. I'm I'm just going with it. Screw this. <laughs> let's let's just see. Let's see the answer. Am I missing something crazy here or not? Answer number 91. Somebody versus a guard. This is a trap. Oh my god, what a jerk. He says, this is a trap. Sorry, sometimes you should test people's awareness of tactics. Black wins the exchange by choosing the most accurate move order. Alright, so whatever. Thanks, jerk. <laughs> so it's not positional. He just threw in one. It's from, it's from one of his own games. I'll get, you know, he gets to show off a tactic that he did. Um... Can't trick me, buddy. Uh, yeah, but black just wins. All right, um, that's cool though. Honestly, you should trap people sometimes because, uh, well, you know, interesting philosophy. I, I gotta one second. I have to do one thing. Okay, I have to look up the names of these players. It's a guard is black in this game, and the guy with white has like a lot of, a lot of thunder guard or something. All these. All these um, Scandinavian dudes have like A's everywhere on their name. But one thing that's important to ask is like, what's the best way to train chess? Should you know the theme of the puzzle you're studying, or should it be unknown because that's the situation you feel face in a real game? I think in general, when you're trying to work in a particular weakness, it makes a lot of sense to just know what the theme is. Like if you're learning like trading pieces or something, there's a weakness you have. 
focus on trading puzzles. It will still help you in a regular game. Of course, you won't know that the position is based on that thing, but that's how you build skills. You just focus on the skill, and then slowly but surely, it kind of um, melds into the rest of your game. So I think it makes a lot of sense to kind of focus on one theme. However, a trick like this, where there is a tactic, it is um, reasonable to throw it in every now and then. Although I was, I was spending, I was like paranoid because um, I know it's a positional book and this is totally not positional. So I was like, what the heck, man? What, what am I missing? All right. See you guys next time uh, tomorrow and bye-bye.